Hi, I'm Marie. I'm here at scrapbook.com and I'm with Tonic Studios. I'm going to show off some of the Nouveau mousses. Now there's three mousses. They've got the embellishment mousse, the expanding mousse, and they've just added the crackle mousse. So I'm going to give you a look at these mousse and show you how they work and some different examples of how you can use them. So we have the embellishment mousse here, which is um, just the regular mousse that you can go ahead and stencil on, you can brush on, um, and do lots of different technique, techniques with this mousse. You can even add it, add some water with it, and then go ahead and splatter it, or you can put it into a spray bottle and spray it onto your cardstock, make your own embellishment mousse spray. So the expanding mousse, if you go ahead and stencil that on your project, or brush it on and then add heat to it with your heat tool, it's going to expand and it's going to puff up. So this card here, I've stenciled the snowflakes on the background and then I dried it with my heat tool and that mousse just puffed up in the background. The blue back here is also the embellishment mousse, so you can see that it dries with a shiny finish. And the new mousse that just came out is the crackle mousse. Now this is really fun. It's a different texture than the other mousse. It's a little bit more of a creamy consistency. You can go ahead and put it onto your paper or stencil it onto your paper. And then you want to let this air dry. If you use a heat gun, it's not going to crackle like it's supposed to. These swatches are still drying, but you can see the crackle that's happening here. If you put it on thick, you're going to get bigger cracks, and if you put it on thin, you're going to get smaller crackles. So depending on what look you're going for, you can change it up to whatever project you're working on. So I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and stencil and blend some of these mousse together to get your own backgrounds for your projects. So the first way that I like to use the embellishment mousse is I like to just take some right out of the jar and I like to use it with a stencil brush. Now after I'm, I've opened one of my embellishment mousse, I like to put some press and seal over the top and that's just going to seal in some, some of the moisture so it doesn't dry out on you. So when you're ready to use it, just peel off that press and seal and then you can use one of your brush or one of your stencils to add it to your paper. You can use your brush to get it right out of the jar, or you can use your media spatula to grab a little bit and put it onto your craft mat. When you grab some out, you're going to notice it looks a little bit crumbly, but if you work with it, it's going to soften up, get a little bit more creamy, and then it's easier to stencil or to brush on. So then you can use one of your stencil brushes and add it straight onto your cardstock. You can also use one of your stencils and either brush it on over your stencil, or you can use your media spatula, pick up some of that mousse, and put a thicker application on. Now once this mousse is dry, you can go ahead and add more colors together, layer it with other mousse, put stamps over it. I've even foiled over this mousse. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. You can also add different colors together and make a gradient background with different colors. So I'll grab the fresh copper color and I'll just blend that in with the green. I'm just gonna take a little bit out onto my mat here soften it up by working with it a little bit and then you can brush it on with your stencil brush and just kind of overlap both of your colors so you get more of a gradient background. So by using the different colors of this mousse and just mixing them together you can get different looks on your background. So I have an example here of I've put some mousse on the background over a stencil. You can see that light pink there. It dries with kind of a, a, a subtle shine, so you can see it's there. And then with your expanding mousse, like I've showed you, you can add little stars. You can add little snowflakes onto your skies. And then you can even just stencil on the embellishment mousse and have a subtle shine in your background of your card.